High tracking is one of the most discussed feature of the new iOS 18 that allows you to control your iPhone barely looking at your iPhone screen. So basically here, I'm going to show you one feature that one is talking about under high tracking called the dual control. So with the high tracking dual control, you can perform more than just controlling your eyes with the high tracking. So here you can see with dual control, keep your eyes gazing still for a specific duration will perform the selected dual action. To customize, you need to go to their 60 touch setting. So here, I'm going to show you how to enable and customize dual control in high tracking on iPhone on our setting. So if I don't know this video, you found this video helpful and informative, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Mainly, when you want to use the dual control on your iPhone, you need to make sure you turn on the high tracking. So with the high tracking feature turned on, then the dual control will assist you so in controlling your phone effectively. So the first one to do here is want to go to your iPhone setting. So while on the settings page, scroll down and select accessibility. Then once you've done that, scroll down until you get to high tracking. So this is a feature under accessibility, high tracking, click on that. Now you may want to turn on or turn off high tracking before you customize the dual control. So literally when you turn on high tracking, then you should see a pop that says follow the dot with your eyes as it moves around the screen. So if you have not started using high tracking before, just follow the dot on your iPhone screen until the entire process is completed. So this is exactly how you will be able to control your iPhone using high tracking when the eye tracking feature is enabled. Now the essence of the dual control on your iPhone is to be able to control your phone when you focus your attention at a particular spot or the iPhone using the high tracking. And once the high tracking is activated or is turned on, you should see a check mark, just like this. So that is to show you that the high tracking is now actively working. And that's why you see this kind of control on my iPhone. So whatever I pointed my eyes on is going to enable the high tracking. Then the essence of this dual control is for me to not focus my attention on any part of my iPhone, then this is going to activate that function. So it could be anything on your phone with the answers of the dual control. So that is it. Now, to turn on or customize your dual control on your iPhone, all you just need to do is this. One on the eye tracking page, come down and click on build control, then click on assistive touch, or basically when you want to access assistive touch on that dual control, all you just need to do is come down to the accessibility, then under accessibility, scroll down and click on touch. Then locate assistive touch and click on that. Now under assistive touch, you should have access to what is called the dual control. Then when you scroll down, then this is the dual control. You see that? Then here you can customize your dual control on your iPhone on our editing. So if this is disabled, then that's going to be disabled even on the eye tracking page. So let's go ahead now and turn this on. Then you'll be taken to this page, you'll be able to configure your dual control to fallback action. Then what you want to use for is it tab or pause dual. Then movement tolerance, then you'll be able to control your movement tolerance using this feature as well on your iPhone on our editing. Then again, if you come to hot corners, then here you have what you want to perform with your highs focusing at the top left here. Is it calibrating high tracking? Click on this to customize that. Then again, top right, what do you want your iPhone to do when you focus? At the top right on your iPhone here if you want to use it as home just left home then bottom right bottom left if you focus on bottom left here what do you want is a lock screen this is going to lock your iPhone automatically and then bottom right what do you want to open or activate when you look at the bottom right on your iPhone is a quick Siri then there you go so now if you go ahead and turn on high tracking on your iPhone all this function is going to be activated then here you have extended prediction then turn this on to activate the extended prediction when the control is enabled Hiding the holding the console still for specific amount of time will perform the selected action. Here you can just play around how long you want this to be held before an action can be performed. If you want it to be really fast, just go ahead and make this like uh, 0.5 seconds. That's almost a milliseconds. And so that's it. Now go ahead and turn on eye tracking. So once you have the eye tracking turned on, then you want to set it up again as usual. And what set up, you will be able to control your phone using your eye tracking using the command you already set up now if you see the assistive touch menu customization then you can go ahead and customize your assistive touch or click on no and then that is all you just need to do you see that so that is how the dual control works with the high tracking on your iphone on our editing so if you found this helpful and informative please don't forget to like and subscribe